Hey YouTube, today I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to convert CAD files into SDL files. The programs I'll be using today is Connect, Autodesk Inventor Professional 2017, MakeAway and Autodesk um, Mesh Mixer. So first off, I'll start off with Autodesk because it's my preferred program. If you want to convert your CAD designs into an SDL file so you can print them, all you do is, is go to Set File, Save As, and then click the location to which you want to save it. I'm going to be on my desktop. And then if you go down to All Files, you can then change this to Learning and then press type in .stl. So that will change it into an SDL file. However, alternatively, which is kind of weird, I think Autodesk should change it. But if you go to File, Save As, so the same process, uh, yeah, Save As, go to Save Copy As, and then go down. There is an actual SDL file option, so you don't have to type it in. So if you press um, that, that uh, file format at the bottom here, the option .stl, no matter what you save as, so say if I typed it as learning, like I originally did, um, it will save it as learning.stl without having you to type it in. Uh, I already have one on my desk, though, so I'm not going to save it because it will replace it. So this video was inspired to do it by um, for one particular individual. So this is what I'm going to be. This is what it's going to be for now. So if your interest is in 3D scanning and you want to print what you've 3D scanned, this might be actually right up your street. When I 3D scan, I use a program called Connect because I use a hacked uh, Microsoft Connect sensor for Xbox 360, and I use this program Connect to record it. So this uh, program conveniently converts into an SDL file straight off when you export the model or save it, which you can uh, see here. So if you have another program, um, which the, one of the people in the comments does may have, um, I advise that you download a program called uh, Autodesk Mesh Mixer because this will support um, a various amount of programs and various amount of file formats. So to import it into this program once you've downloaded it, which I will leave a uh, link into the description for the file uh, for the program so you can download it. You want to go File, Import, and then click your your the file that you want to import. Ah, yeah, sorry, Import. I clicked the wrong one. And then if I click Replace, click the file, um, and it gives you a list here of the file formats that it, it actually allows. Um, so once you've done that, if you go to once you have your three options into your computer. If you go down to print, it will allow you to export it as a, instead of actually says send to printer, if you press export, you can then export it as an SDL file. So, and then you can import it into a program called MakeAway. So if I just save this to my desktop as Spunny, and then go to MakeAway, And then go file open. I can then click but the file bunny, and then that will be there. So that's one way you can convert into SDL. I'm not too sure what file format your uh, scanner will s export your file as, but there must be an option surely for you to be able to um, export it as a one of those files that are opened by Mesh Mixer. If not, um, please message me and I will find other alternative solutions to help you. But I hope this helped you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much.